Ah, well, well, well. Hello, and welcome back, everyone, to another new. This is Nox Destiny Host, and. Of Final Fantasy 16, once again, being on the wrong side. Give me a moment. Yes, save the changes. Keep the game over here. Alright, so in the last uh, part on Friday, we dealt with the aftermath of us handling Bahamut. Um, one side of the twin side island, uh, now of Alistair, now has no mother crystal. Um, was added. I just available for it. Oh, what? I wasn't expecting. Oh, there's not. What's okay. priming for? Already. Oh! What item? Oh, that's the DLC stuff! Can I upgrade them? Otherwise, they are more or less glorified. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. Um. Keepsakes? Sort of? The same for you, dear. F. And. All right. Yeah, and then we learned that. A town that. Um. It is residing in. Never with the Enterprise at all. It's being sieged. By the people of. Valut. Of this. Working with Ultima together. And we have to save her. This probably means a confrontation with Odin. Welcome to Old Canva. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Hmm. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. I were even listening most of the time. Name's Mididol, but everyone calls me Mid. Mid. 
My boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Hey. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the Merchant's District to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. Not likely. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the Mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron! That's Lord <laughs> Rossfield, you little gutter snipe! And already we are alone again. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Have Odin roaming around? That's not good. Alright, Togel. Let's find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things. Fuck. Level 20? some heals.
Super Beam. Get toasted. Lightning for all of you. Well, hello there, it choice. What happened to the Royal Army? There's nothing but monsters here. Question, Clive. Awesome. In your way. Is smart. I have. I wanted to trade that out with the book. Go for the table flip. Ah oh no, we save it up for the judgment board for some more hits or that might be nice. Oh, I'm fine. Hope you are too. Oh shit. Mistakes. Let's try. Oh shit, he spins too. I'm say I'm too terribly interested. Even though it's nice that you are asking uh, straight, straight up.
But yeah. Sorry, but currently I'm not interested in custom uh, graphics and stuff like that. Thank you for, for the offer. to early the dodges. half life even before
Scatter. There may still be survivors inside. I don't think so, Clive. I don't think so. Give off the light. Oh, damage. Big tooth. Oh. Where are they? These creatures. Double Lightning. I don't know if we want to know the answer to that question. Oh no. Caused quite the commotion. But then I would expect no less from you. Muthos. Yes, I said bastard. Again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Bullshit. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. They are dead. And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am safely out of House Harbor. And you will yield! The horse of Odin. Or not. As long as you don't hold back. On, bitch. You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. 
perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. What? The surefire hit spear. <laughs> Did that still hit? Does. That's more like ah. Ayo. A Tosca. Oh, okay. Maybe. Let's move again. Aerial Blood Dutchman Bolt Hyper Beam Your slain, woo, and level up, which is also good. Was full health again and everything. Forty. Sanguine insignia.
The vessel is strong. Are you dead, foe? My leash. Looks dead. Can we cut his head off just to be sure? You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Fuck! Leaving so soon, Mythos? Yes. It's the king. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm. No. Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back. I will not. <laughs> Anything off against Odin already? One of the strongest espers. I don't think we have what it takes to take him down. Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Me Muthos. But Muthos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. Majesty, my purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Any time. Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Try it. Monk life is old and you can't on him like now. You are as weak as all the rest. Joshua! Oh, 
one stop. Oi! Oi! This way! Hurry! <laughs> Power beyond the reckoning. And they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. It. Oh, you have to save Phil again. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. Behind here, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril Engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. 
Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition? You really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Fuck! Ah, uh, expected. It. it doesn't make. Song of Hope. Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Afting. Next one. So what do I owe the honor? For saying Fornian, do you? No scratches, right? Did last you a good while. My best work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. Anything else? Starting up. Okay. What fabulous Aaron have? Let me tell you a story. Clive. Uh oh. All right. Them rumours wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me, I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition, I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He was true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. Told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint Gil. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest damn in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Hardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. Ah. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. Yeah, no thanks. Clive. Coin purse weighing you down. I'm very like that.
You're rubbing me blind, you know. Is that all? Sorry, yes, that's all. Ah, oh, no, I found it. Cole said it was an army of a cash. What will happen to me? How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with a cash? What's your effing hunt? Uh. A quick hand won't. Let's go. Fly Ambrosia. Is somewhere here so we are burnt. Be here, right? This might take a while.
You are it. Thanks, girl. Hello, birdie. I think he's a bit closer than actually. Does it meet your rain? Oh shit, tornado dissipates.
Beam Cannon! And Lightning! Tornado! And this! Goes. Oh, Poor beast. There was nothing I could do. All right, let's speak with Otto. Cole said it was an army. Of a what will happen to How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling? Glove? But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. Oh, they're not dead. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Nope. But at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items would go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Extra workshop. Get there from here. Yes. Search mit Dungeon. <laughs> Do you think it's ship will ever say? This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. But you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Maybe she will? No word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mid's. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Sid's best invention. Huh. That sounds promising. Sid. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. All right. But to keep you all uh, suspended, uh, we will do this next part at least on for the people of YouTube. People on Twitch, we will dive headfirst into the Reddit and all. So, until the next time. Um, this was Max Sessia Hall, so wish all of you a good evening, good night, good day, depending on when and where you're watching this. Until next time, stay safe, stay happy. Yeah, yeah. well, bye.